Christ. Jesus. Look. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, just please talk to me. Say something. Say something! Say something! Talk to me, please! Talk to me! God, I did say something. Talk to me, won't you? Please talk to me. Look, please. You gotta say something. Just say something. Please say something. Talk to me, please! Talk to me! Talk to me! smile just smile please look why won't you say anything why won't you talk to me please just fucking say something please just please fucking say something I've changed, okay? I'm not the same motherfucker I was before. I'm not the same asshole, please. Please, baby, talk to me. Say something. Please say something, please. Please say something, please. Oh, please talk to me. Please talk to me. Say something, please. Say something. Say something. Just say something so I know. Please say something to me. Please say something. Listen. Listen, baby. I know we can make it work. We've got to try. We've got to try to make it work. You're so beautiful. I remember the first day we met. No, remember that day? God, it was raining so hard. song that was playing <laughs> you remember the song come on I act like you don't remember this song you want me to remind you well excuse me but I think you got my chair no that one's not taken out on mine if you sit here I'll be glad to share, yeah, it's usually packed here on Friday nights. Oh, if you don't mind, could I talk you out of a lie? Well, thank you, could I drink you a bye? Oh, listen to me. What I mean is 
you drink anything you please Oh, you're welcome, Bill I don't think I caught your name Are you waiting for someone to meet you? Well, that makes two of us Glad you came <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying God damn it, I'm trying I'm fucking trying Please say something why won't you talk to me? 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 I did everything you can do. I did everything you can do. Yeah. You're a uh, everybody that watches this, everybody that's that gives a shit. Alice and I want to just say that, you know, after uh, 10 years of marriage, you know, being together for 15, married for 10, that um, we're going to call it quits, you know. I know Carol, you know, that's what you wanted, your baby girl to marry another guy that's more successful, that's better, that isn't a fucking heathen pagan like me. Well, now your daughter has that opportunity to go find that son of a bitch, whoever that motherfucker may be. It's definitely not me. And as you're gonna see in this video, Alice is pleading the fifth. She's not talking. You know, she doesn't want to say anything. She's I don't know what the fuck's wrong with her, but. We just want to come out publicly and say, you know, it's over. You know? I don't know why I'm bothering, but Alice, honey, is there anything you want to add? Huh? Is there anything you want to say? Nothing? Something? You want to apologize? Do you want to, I don't know, uh, Say you're sorry for treating me like a piece of shit for 15 years, you know, do you want to, anything, any, any remorse, anything. There you have it. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's an Everly Brothers song that, uh, I never really got till right now. It's called uh, It's So Sad to See a Good Love Gone Bad. You know, how do you throw away 15 years of, you know, how do you throw away 15 years? You can't, you know, I mean, all the hatred I have for this. Deep down, I still love her. Yeah, I always will, I guess, you know. And, um, I don't know what to say. Excuse me.
Romeo and Juliet, you know, they had it down. They knew what was, they knew what the, uh, the score was. They knew what was, what was supposed to happen. Um, you know, when we got married, I made a vow that I wouldn't live without her because at the time, that's what I was feeling. At the time, I didn't think I could live without her. I could imagine myself living without her. And, um, uh, now that it's over, you know, I'm, I'm thinking ahead to the divorce process, you know, going to court. And, divvying up our assets and what's mine, what's hers, you know, I mean, for all I fucking care, she can have the house, she can have the car, she can have the whatever, and the TV, the fuck, I don't give a shit, you know, it wasn't what I was all about, it's not what I'm about, you know, I don't give a shit about that stuff, I just wanted her. You know, they say everybody in their life, you know, full of perfect kisses, you know, and like, the night we met, that was the most perfect kiss, you know, uh, the, um, God, it was raining, and, oh, it was cold, it was so cold and raining, and God, it was just, you know, and uh, we stood underneath this, um, little building, uh, canopy thing, you know, where, it didn't start out raining, it actually wasn't supposed to rain, you know, just a little chilly that night and, and um, fucking weatherman don't know their asses from their elbows sometimes but it rained and, and uh, you know um, you know she was shuddering <laughs> it's the cutest thing I ever fucking saw in my life she was just <sighs> you know <laughs> sounded like Axl Rose and uh song so fine from Guns N' Roses, you know, when he's all, <laughs> it was, um, it was cute, you know, and I, instinctively, I grabbed her, and I held her close to me, and I, um, she rested her head right here, on my shoulder, and, um, I, um, it was funny, because in my head, I was thinking, God, I want to kiss this girl so fucking bad, <laughs> you know, I want to kiss her so bad, and, shuddering and her lips were turning um, bluish purple because she was so fucking cold <laughs> you know I gave her my jacket you know I mean I'm, I'm, I'm a hot natured guy so I mean I didn't need the, my jacket it's just you know and um she stopped shivering I mean she was still shivering but it kind of slowed it down a little bit and she kind of looked up at me with these eyes kind of like you know like I can't do that bad in eyelashes, but she just gave me this look, and, um, and in that moment, I fell in love with her even more, I mean, that was it, that was out for the count, it was, um, that was all she wrote, <laughs> that's how they say, um, uh, yeah, she looked up at me, and her lips were shivering, and she was so probably stare at each other for about 10, 15 seconds, you know, before we kiss, but god damn, it seemed like a lifetime, you know, I, uh, I don't remember what I got for my first Christmas, I don't remember what I did and said on my first day of school, I don't remember many things in my life, you know, like that, but I remember that day like it was yesterday. And, uh, she, um, was looking up at me kind of like this, you know, and uh, I was looking down at her like so, and, you know, she was shivering. Just, and, um, I leaned down and, you know, we kissed.
just God for seconds, but oh that kiss, oh that kiss. That's gonna stay with me for the rest of my life. Even when I die, you know, they say that when people die they you know, souls forget, you know, there's no memory in heaven or hell. Despite that myth, I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember. And um, I'll never forget that. Never. Not to, to. Never. I couldn't forget it. And we fell in love and... <laughs> and 15 years later... first time I've said it out loud, the first time I've admitted to myself that she's dead. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. About a week ago, I did a chicken shit thing and I killed my wife for 15 years. I mutilated and I butchered my, my children's mother. Till death do us part, you know. And well, she's already dead, so logic dictates that I um, that I'm um, I'm next. <laughs> and, um, this video. My family and her family, you know. Um, oh, shit. Mom, I'm sorry. Dad, I'm sorry.
get your first job, I'm not going to be there to tell you about boys, but your grandpa and your uncles, they'll tell you all about boys and what to stay away from in this life. I don't want you to see me as a monster, sweetheart. Baby, please. Don't see me as a monster. I'm not a monster. I killed your mother. I can't get around that. I killed her. But, you know, sweetheart, it was an accident. Daddy didn't mean it. Daddy loves you. Truth is, sweetheart, daddy's a piece of shit. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve... I didn't deserve your mother. I know you're probably gonna hate me. I don't know, for years, for the rest of your life. I don't know. And how do you forgive somebody that killed your mother? And cut her head off and bit off chunks of her face and I killed your mother because she, I blamed her for me not feeling like a man. I killed your mother because she, for some reason I felt she didn't make me feel like a man, you know. And I would hear from your grandmother and from your mother sometimes that I, you know, I wasn't a man, you know, and, um. Mother had a good point, you know. I mean, I'm a sorry motherfucker that killed your mother. I'm a sorry son of a bitch that is gonna kill himself. In a few minutes, I'm not gonna be able to see you grow. I'm not gonna be able to see you become a woman, and I'm gonna miss out on. Of your life. Um, you know, for that, you know, maybe your mother and everybody was right. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I your mother made me a man. She was so great. Before take her away and before they come take me away I want you to see your mother for the last time this is your mother this is Alice what's left of her she's got your face well it's kind of hard to tell baby but you know you have her face you have her nose her mouth her eyes when, when they were there, <laughs> same color. Um, well, <sighs> to the task at hand. Um, you know, I'm an old-fashioned guy. I believe in, in fairy tales and. Stuff like that. I, um, I always wanted to die a hero. Not a monster. Well, that's a lesson I could teach you, baby, before I go. We don't always get what we wanted. You wanted to have two parents that loved you.
hope you get everything you want in life, sweetheart. Don't ever settle for anything. You're too good for that. <sighs> With excuse me, could I drink you? Oh, listen to me. What I mean is, can I buy you a drink? That wasn't my chair after.